Welcome to the final part of this collection of videos looking at how the famous tree swing images apply directly to algo trading. The next image takes a look at how the algo trading system lost its edge. There are a number of reasons why a trading system does lose its edge. The first is when too many people are trading the same or a very similar system. This has the effect of naturally eroding any edge the system had. And so this is just one of the reasons why it's always a good idea to develop your own trading systems instead of buying them. Think about it. If 10,000 people buy the same system, this will naturally lead to assets being bought and sold at approximately the same time from all of the traders that are using that system. And then basic supply and demand principles mean that for those users that enter slightly after the others, the price of the asset might already have moved and they'll be getting into and out of the trade at a slightly less favourable price. And these small differences on every trade all add up and can actually start to have a significant effect. So ultimately, this means that any edge the system might have had begins to get eroded away. It's a far better option to develop your own system and then never give the details away to anyone. If you tell anyone the details of your system, what's stopping them from telling someone else? And then what's stopping that person from selling your system? Where does that leave you? All that hard work would be wasted on a system that is now overtraded and has lost its edge. This is a minor side issue, but another reason for not buying a system that someone else has developed is because you will never have the same deep understanding of the intrinsic details of the strategy's premise, the edge, and the implementation of it. And this will severely limit your ability to get the full potential from a system. If you're buying systems simply because you can't code, then I'd highly recommend that you learn to code. Attempting to be an algo trader without being able to code is like trying to swim with your hands tied behind your back. You're extremely unlikely to get anywhere very quickly, if at all. So my advice to you is to save your money, stop buying systems and instead invest your time in learning to code. Believe me, you will never look back. So back to our main topic of a system losing its edge, as you can see here. Another reason this can occur is when market dynamics change. In other words, the price action of the assets that you've been trading begin to change. And if you don't re-optimise your parameters to take account of those changes, your system will of course begin to lose its effectiveness. And the question I sometimes get asked is how often you should re-optimise? Well, it depends very much on the nature of your system and the timeframes that it's trading on. I tend to re-optimise only when I need to, based on the results that I'm getting. As soon as I see results that are not characteristic of the behaviour I expect from backtesting and from previous performance, so bigger drawdowns, lower return, than I would have expected, then I'll know that it's probably time. And this isn't as often as you'd think. Sometimes this can be every three or four years, or for some of my systems, maybe every year. I certainly wouldn't be re-optimising any more frequently than that. But you need to be careful. Don't confuse poor results in your live account because of market dynamics changing with poor results because you've overfitted during optimizations. If you have overfitted, then you've probably never seen good results for any extended period of time in your live account. Again, forgive me for continuing to state this, but one answer is to keep your systems simple. This will have the effect of helping to avoid overfitting, but also will mean your system is much more resilient to changes in market dynamics, meaning it's far less likely to lose its edge. So it's a win-win, and this brings us on to our final image. What the algo trader actually needed. As I said at the end of last week's episode, there really is something beautiful about a system that is simple but of course also effective. It's quicker to develop, 
so it won't take you as long to get your system live and making money for you. It's far harder to over-optimise because there are fewer moving parts or degrees of freedom. It will run quicker and use less computing resource, so if you're running a large number of systems, you won't need a huge server to run them. Also, as I've discussed, simple also means that the system will be more resilient and less fragile to changes in price action and in market dynamics. It will also be significantly easier to manage and to maintain going forward. And there's one more very important point that we covered last week, and I really think it's worth repeating. When something isn't working quite as it should, it's a fairly easy task of first recognising that and then solving it when the system is simple. With an overly complex system, with a large number of rules, it's difficult even to know if a trade should have opened when it did or should have closed when it did. It's a choice you have to make for yourself, of course, but I feel there are so many justifiable reasons for keeping things simple. OK, so that brings us to the end of the tree swing analogies. I hope that you've enjoyed it as much as I've enjoyed creating the videos, and I hope there's at least two or three really good pieces of information or tips that you can now take away to help you improve your systems or some aspect of your trading. If you don't mind taking the time, please remember to give me a thumbs up and also share a link to these videos. And of course, remember to trade safe, and I'll see you next time.